Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for the Season 7 finale. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I am going to be working on my Superman Lois review later today. I don't know when that is going to be up, but be on the lookout for that to not miss that video. However, we have to talk about today's finale trailer because it got released right after the Flash's episode air last night and so much goes down in the trailer that we have to talk about it straight away and so if you missed last night's review that I did go check it out it's going to be in the top right corner of the screen right here also you can check out any recent videos that are going to be popping out throughout this video however let's go ahead and get into this so the first shot of the trailer and we continue right where we left off inside the church and now, we knew the church was going to be a big thing as soon as they set it up. You had that great scene there, and it was obviously somewhere of importance to Bart and to Godspeed as well. However, this is inside Godspeed's mindscape, and inside his mind he has this throne room, you can see in the shot right here, and it has like a lightning bolt, and it's kind of very Game of Thrones style. However, it's obviously very comic booky and a bit over the top, because it is just like emphasizing that he is the real living god of speed as he says in the trailer and so he literally sits there prime Morgus heart from the future and this is his throne i don't know in the future if this is literally where his throne room is i think obviously it makes sense being in the church because he thinks of himself as a god however everything else in this room is intact and looks just like a normal church but then you have this one kind of futuristic shazam like throne so i don't know if it's very realistic so that's why i'm saying this is inside his mindscape so what happens if he created this in his mind maybe that's what's going on here however this is still barry inside godspeed's mind and they're gonna be going at it inside here so we get a shot of barry just from Godspeed's angle and we see him walking towards Godspeed and then the shot that follows this is some of the Godspeed clones who are walking down the street you can see Jay Garrick in the bottom right corner so this is obviously one of the big fight scenes throughout the episode I don't think this is going to be like the big climactic battle I think the big climactic battle is going to be against the real Godspeed I think the clones are probably going to be defeated However, before last night's episode, I did think they were going to be defeated at the end, and that's when you would see them facing off against the real Godspeed. However, I was right about the real Godspeed showing up, but it was inside his mind rather than in reality. So, yeah, I do think the scene right here with Jay and the Godspeed clones, I think this is maybe earlier in the episode, because I reckon we're going to have like two to four, maybe five big battles throughout the episode. Okay, so moving on to the next shot we have jay garrick putting on his helmet being awesome as usual obviously jay played a big part in last episode and i really liked how much of a big part he played because it makes him an even greater hero like i said in my review because they place this big importance on him and the future of barry and iris's son bart allen okay let's move on so we have the real godspeed again it looks like this is probably in the church we have him talking to Barry as he is going on some sort of rant about how he is the real god of speed which cuts to Barry and he is looking up at Godspeed's throne it seems like he is even closer now and the sort of distorted angle like canted angle that we're seeing here is just about like how Barry is disorientated inside of Godspeed's mind and so we have one of the Godspeeds stepping on someone's glasses I don't know whose glasses it is, I guess it's just a symbolic move to show his power, however it does look like in the distance there is someone lying on the ground, so I presume it's someone's glasses that he is attacking, I don't know if this is in the past, if this is in the future or anything like that, however let's go back to what I presume is in the church as well, we see Godspeed and obviously he is fully unmasked. And this is obviously the big difference that we're having because he is supposedly Prime August Heart, aka the real Godspeed. I'm going to be honest, I think the reveal wasn't that shocking, obviously because we knew it was going to be August Heart in the first place. I think it would have been like a greater reveal if it was someone different, even though maybe a version of August Heart was Godspeed. If it was someone that maybe we knew or someone that had been working behind the scenes and stuff. 
maybe that would have been a little bit more interesting like with what they did in season 2 with the real Jay Garrick and Hunter Zolomon and Zoom. However, I guess it's pretty cool, like I do like Godspeed and I think he is definitely a big step up from what we got earlier this season with Speed Force Nora. However, I'm not so sure that like he is the biggest threat that he has been teased to be because we're going to defeat him in a total of four episodes. So it is a great arc, I think it's very good and I love these episodes so far, I haven't really had a big problem. However, it's going to be concluded pretty soon, so I don't really buy that he's as dangerous as Zoom or Savitar or Reverse Flash or anyone like that. Okay, so let's go outside. We have Joe who probably steps out of the car. That's where we left him off at the end of last episode. And the Godspeeds were somehow fighting on his car. Like, I don't know how that happened, but yeah, it did. And so Godspeed grabs Joe. I don't know if this is a real Godspeed, I presume it's one of the clones, but he is about to phase Joe and kill him. Is this going to happen? No, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, the Godspeeds do have a consistent thing going on where they're about to kill someone, but then they're either zapped away or they're saved. Like, come on guys, use your phasing quicker. Like, you're supposed to be the god of speed, so just kill them straight away, but obviously it's for dramatic tension. So we go on, it looks like this is in Star Labs. We have Barry masking up, obviously with the new device that he got this season with his suit, which is pretty cool, and so it faces over his face as he is about to go out and be the Flash and stop Godspeed. And so one of the big things at the end of last episode was the return of a mage character that had just left the show but we knew was coming back, but it was a great surprise. This is of course Cisco Ramon. So Cisco comes back, he's a mecha vibe, and he's teaming up with Frost as they are surrounded by the Godspeed clones and so it seems like this is one of the fights throughout the episode. I don't know how they're going to get out of there, probably with the help of the Flash family and Barry also realizes that basically they're going to need speedsters to take down Godspeed if they're going to do that. But whilst this is happening, the Godspeed war continues. We have a total of 26 Godspeeds in this shot. I counted that and that is crazy. So. I don't know how many teams there are now, I'm confused why there's so many, but nevertheless, it's crazy. They're all fighting against each other and I presume there's more than that. But let's move on, we have Jay, and Jay is also going to play a big part in this episode. Basically every speedster in the show is going to play a huge part because this is a speedster orientated episode and they're going to need all the power that they can in order to take down Godspeed. And so Godspeed also says in the trailer, watch your city burn. So obviously he's going to be targeting what Barry cares about most. Obviously he cares about protecting the people of Central City because he is their protector as the Flash. But also he's obviously going after people he cares about. So the stakes are high. But we have Barry as he is talking to Jay in this scene as well. So going back to Frost and Vibe. We see them and the camera cuts in even closer. They look entirely surprised something is going on. Maybe it's something that Cisco is doing or it could be someone on the ground. But something big is happening there and we cut to Star Labs. We have a very quick shot of Cecile and Cecile looks shocked. So basically the big thing that they've been doing with Cecile this season and last season is that every time something major goes down, when it's to do with mind control, looking into people's minds or people's emotions, Cecile is the one who audibly reacts to everything and she has these huge reactions and that's what you're seeing here because she is the one who put Barry inside Godspeed's mind. So obviously I think Barry's going to be in jeopardy and that's probably what Cecile is reacting to. So we go back outside, we have Nora as she is out on the field. She is wearing her classic suit. Obviously we saw her with that this episode. And also Barry, which is the same continued shot from earlier, masks up and goes after Godspeed. Okay, so we're approaching the end of the trailer and we have the last shot, which is the best shot of the trailer because this is just pure hype. And so Barry says to Jay, we better come up with a fast one, and this is in relation to coming up with a big idea of how to stop Godspeed once and for all. And we have the return of none other than Speed Force Nora. That is awesome. I did kind of predict this would happen, so it's not super unexpected because it does make a whole lot of sense that 
if Godspeed is trying to siphon the Speed Force and everything is so related to speedsters in general that the Speed Force would show up considering that she played a big part this season and you have the whole entire Flash family teaming up including Speedster Iris. So Iris is here, she's fully suited up in her XS style suit. Obviously this is like the proto version of what will become XS's suit so it's really cool to see them suiting up together. She stands next to Bart Allen who is in his awesome suit as well and Jay is there and Barry's just in front and they all go to run and you can see right here look at their lightning it's amazing Jay's got slightly like orange red lightning you've got Bart's lightning which is yellow and Nora and Iris's lightning is exactly the same it's purple like mother like daughter and you can tell how fast Speed Force Nora is because she has all the colors of lightning and she completely disappears. And also Barry's quite a bit further ahead. So this is just amazing to see. I can't wait to see the entire Flash family team up. It's been something that I've been waiting for for such a long time. Super excited that Speed Force Nora is back and actually teaming up as a good guy. Obviously it's awesome to see Bart and XS continue on from last episode. Same goes for Jay. Obviously it's great to see Barry in the field as always as the Flash, but I think one of the most exciting things right here is Speedster Iris. And I'll be curious to find out how she actually gets her powers back and obviously she probably has her suit locked away just in case. Could it be that she is given powers by Barry and maybe that was his big idea about how he could come up with a bigger, faster idea to stop Godspeed. So that's about it for today's video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you're new, and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. Also tonight I'll be on the after party talking about this episode with Eric and Paigey, so be on the lookout for that. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see